Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Go Lion Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at Leafland. We're heading up to Toronto as the Toronto Maple Leafs have been tied to a couple of players around the league heading into the deadline. We'll be taking a look at that in this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, want to help us to 2,000 subscribers, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and even bigger subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the Leafs. So, welcome, my Leaf fans. Some of you hate me, some of you a little on the fence, and some of you actually like me. But I think it's a little bit more on the negative side of things, especially with some of the videos I've made about the Leafs, but I'm going to try and change your guys' opinion about that today. We're taking a look at the Maple Leafs and some trade rumors we've heard about the Leafs over the past couple of weeks. Now, there seems to be two guys in particular that the uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs have started to key in on, and the main guy is in Nashville, Mikhail Granlin. Now, the problem with Granlin is the Nashville Predators thinks, you know, Leaf fans can thank the Blackhawks for sucking. The Natural Predators have officially become a playoff, you know, possible team now, a playoff hopeful, and that's because of teams in the Central Division kind of sliding off. We've now seen the Natural Predators come in the running, which means they may not be quick sellers now at this year's deadline. They may wait till after the expansion draft to maybe sell off guys like Ekholm, maybe even Granlund and, and Philip Forsberg and guys like that. Uh, but the Nashville Predators, Mikhail Granlin has definitely drawn the attention of General Magic Kyle Dubas. We'll see if those talks continue up until the deadline, which it seems like uh, David Poyle has been looking at trades. Uh, you know, he will be doing that till the deadline, but it's probably going to be deadline moves for Nashville if they trade in that comb or if they trade a guy like Mikhail Granlin. Maybe they do a soft sell with a guy like Granlin or some of their pending unrestricted free agents, and they keep the guys like Forsberg, Ekholm, Ellis, you know those names. They'll end up keeping those guys. Uh, but the other name we've been hearing about, another unrestricted free agent, and it's a goaltender, and that is Linus Olmark of the Buffalo Sabres. Now, obviously, we know the Sabres struggles. They have been bad this year. But Linus Olmark may be an option for the Maple Leafs as a starting goaltender in the future. Now, he is a rental at this point, but if the Buffalo, well, if the Buffalo Sabres trade him, and the Toronto Maple Leafs can probably get him for a little bit cheaper as an unrestricted free agent. Maybe they do a sign-in trade. They're able to pick him up. They sign him to a long-term deal, and he becomes a starter in Buffalo, Does or in Toronto. Does that work? We've also heard that now the Florida Panthers may look at trading a guy like Chris Driegers. So that's another guy who's going to be cheap, especially on the cap this year and maybe in the future as well. Chris Drieger and Linus Allmark seem to be guys that Kyle Dubas is fairly interested for his goaltending tandem in the future for the Leafs. Honestly, I like both these guys. I think a guy like Mikhail Granlin could probably get him for a second and a fourth. And a guy like Linus Allmark, you could probably get him for probably not far off in terms of a price tag. It may cost you a first-round pick for a guy like Linus Allmark. Uh, or even a Chris Drieger at this point, who has been very, very good. Maybe a second. Uh, but the Leafs, they're going to be using up some draft capital this year. They see a window here. They don't have to go through the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Toronto Ma uh, the Boston Bruins, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So the Maple Leafs may decide that this is their year. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, what do you think of the Tampa, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs going into this deadline? Do you like the idea of maybe a Mikhail Granlin? I mean, you know, you look at forwards, I think there's other guys they should look at as well. A guy like Derek Broussard in Arizona may be a cheap option. Connor Garland. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, especially before the NHL trade deadline, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And even bigger, subscribe down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.